actually maybe that too. I mean, we kind of dove right into skaldic poetry, and I think maybe for our audience, let's do a little bit of just. Um, you know, the two kind of main forms of poetry that we know from the Viking Age between the Skaldic and the Eddic. And can you explain a little bit about what those two are? Yeah, I can start with the Eddic, which is uh, probably the poetry that more people are familiar with. It, it's uh, poems about either gods uh, or heroes, or legendary heroes. And some of the stories in these poems are thought to be really old um, and uh, they were collected in Iceland in the 13th century, so we don't know how much older they were, but at least some of them were certainly older than that. And they either tell stories about gods and heroes, or uh, they propagate wisdom in some way or another. And these are rel these are anonymous. We don't know who composed them, or when they composed them, or where they composed them. Um, but they seem to have been quite widespread, and people would know the stories. They're relatively easy to understand compared to skaldic poetry. Um, and probably there's certainly, with regard to your earlier question, there would have been female poets composing Eddic poetry as well. Um, skaldic poetry is a completely different kettle of fish. It's a very complicated, highly developed art form with uh, a lot of rules regarding meter and alliteration and how you construct the poem. Um, and it's, it can be used in, in for many different subjects, many different purposes, but we think, um, or what we, th what we most commonly think of when we think of skaldic poetry is this kind of praise poetry for kings and chieftains, uh, which is a, kind, a form of propaganda, a form of history writing before writing was available. So uh, you kind of locked the facts into this very complicated poetry and that, that made it easy to remember accurately, and a lot of it is about the achievements of the king. So battles he fought or voyages, expeditions he led. And then if, if you could remember the poem, you'd remember all the, the important facts about that king's achievements. Mm -hmm.